to my breakfast. I'm not even gonna eat this. I don't know, I'm just so not in the mood. It's 3 46. I mean, 47. Yeah, not in the mood for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm like real tired. But I'm about to go hit it. And um, I'm gonna be alone today. Mom told me this a couple days ago, so I'm gonna be alone on this Friday. <sighs> Which is, for me, day five. And this will be taking place on Monday for you. Mm. <sighs> Alright, y'all. I'm so tempted to get back in bed. I'm so tempted to get back in bed. <gasps> I'm so tired. I didn't go to bed till like, one. Almost one. That vlog wasn't edited. It was doing crazy stuff last night. I'm so tempted to get back in the bed. Oh my gosh. But I'm dressed and I'm not. It's 3.48. Because I'm on these last two pieces of bacon. I'm going to say this to when I come back. And let's go hit it. Good morning. It is 4 a.m. and I am up at it early today. Just wanted to give you this message on this morning to remember that love is priceless. Love is something that billionaires and trillionaires cannot buy. You know, they can buy a house, but they can't buy a home. They can buy medicine, but they can't buy health. They can buy a watch, but they can't buy time. They can buy presents, but they can't buy happiness. It is so many people in this world that are striving for things, but don't have love in their heart or don't have people that truly love them. And it's so sad. And today I want you to realize that you are wealthy and you are rich if you have love. If you have love, all you need is love. You can create things in your life and the joy that people with the money cannot buy that wealth cannot buy and just understand that that is the most important thing in this world is love 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 Con love conquers so many things love helps you through so much the support of a loved one the love from a loved one is amazing sorry for the darkness my lights are just kind of weird but make sure you remember to love on somebody and make sure remember to put love first talk to you guys later hope you guys have an awesome morning i'm here guys i am here even though i don't want to be even though i'm tired it is four o'clock i'm earlier this is the time i normally wake up i push myself couldn't sleep. I woke, went to bed at one. Like, man, let's just get up and go. So I am here and I'm about to get it in and I shall see you guys later. Me and my awkwardness trying to show you the watch. I don't even think y'all seen that. But anyways, it is time to stretch. So make sure you stretch before your workouts and it was a struggle for me, but let's get this workout going, guys. So I started off with the treadmill and I did a 3.5 and a 3 incline on the treadmill. So let's get this workout going. All right, guys. I will say that it was a true struggle for me on a treadmill today, but I learned that instead of going the full amount all the way through, I kind of broke it down at the end, but I'll kind of share with you guys what I did on the treadmill just after I'm done with the workout. I hope you guys are pushing and going at your own pace and understanding we just need to take it one minute, one hour, one day. I did 3.5 and then I did three incline, but as I got to the 17th minute, I dropped it down to get my legs to start warming up. So I'm about to go to the next one. Now y'all know I love this machine. This is my baby. Let's get this workout on this one. If you wanted to know, I listened to Beanie Man Radio, reggae. If y'all been following me for years when I was training and when I first started years ago, um, I would do um, the workouts on Instagram for people every day and I always listen to like um, Beanie Man and Mr. Vega and stuff like that. 
I don't know, just keep me pumped up. Not that it's Missy Elliott Radio, Sierra Radio, um, Ludacris, T.I., um, or I do 90s um, hip hop. What else, what else, what else? Sometimes I do Beyonce, she be having some pump and stuff. I like Seven Streeter. So I just kind of mix it up, but recently it's been mainly Benny Me and Radio on Pandora. So, all right, y'all. So guys, this is my favorite machine. If you, and I'm gonna keep saying this because I don't know if you knew or not, if you have ankle, knee, hip problems or anything, and you want something that glides and not too much impact on those joints in those areas, I'm telling you, you're going to love this. And you can put it on whatever level or whatever incline you desire, but I love this machine. Yeah, so I get off not thinking nothing of it, but y'all see, y'all see, I'm not even going to say nothing. See if y'all recognize what I did, but it's going to be in the next clip anyway. This is crazy. I was all excited, like, dang, that went by fast. I got off at 20 minutes, not realizing I was supposed to be 25 on this one, so I'm just going to do it with y'all facing me. Oh my gosh. So this is just me here showing you the machine and that I'm getting back on um, to restart it again. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I got all excited, but let's resume. So the music was massive loud this morning for some reason. Um, I'm going to see if the guy can make sure he can turn it down a little bit because I hate having to do voiceovers when I'm already talking. Then it's like I wasted time explaining something. So hopefully it'll get better as the vlogs go on. But yeah, I got back on for five more minutes and I wrecked it. So I did 45 minutes of a workout and my total burn after the workout was 413. And we'll see how many I burn once I get ready to leave after my oh massage. My band broke. Okay, it's okay. Because I already had a band in the cart on Amazon. It's less than $5 for it. So I went to put my arms on my hip and it just popped off, y'all. Yeah. So I'm about to switch up my music because I'm getting ready to do a massage. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm about to switch up my music because I'm getting ready to do a massage. Um, so, yeah, just make it more calm music. But, yeah, I um went to put my hands on my shoulder and it just popped. Like, literally just popped. So... I guess I have no choice but to get another one, right, y'all? Well, not a new watch, but a new band, because I'm too frugal to be wasting money on unnecessary stuff, okay? See y'all in a minute. It's raining outside, y'all. Let's stop this. This was my burn for today. Stop. So, 121 and 490. And, um... Yep. Now, as long as this is close to me, I'm good. Um, but I'm going to actually get a new band. Why? Because um, this monitor is connected to the thing on my waist. So if it's close, it'll still read it. I can still like have it in my bag or whatever. But yeah, I got to get a new band. All right, y'all. About to head out into this rainy weather. Y'all the only ones that when y'all get in the car by yourself and it's still dark outside, y'all look I look in my trunk. I be looking in the back seat and everything. I don't be playing that. I'm sorry. I don't care if the doors was locked. Like the, my husband warm up the car, but shoot. I got in. Before I got in, I opened the doors, looked back there, flashed my light in the back, make sure nobody in the back back. Is y'all scary like that? Well, I don't think that's scary. That's just being aware because I'm a woman and it's dark. It's still dark outside even though it's early morning. And people are crazy these days. So it is like 520 something. And I'm headed home. Usually I'd be headed home at six something. I feel good. I'm glad that I got up because my feeling now is totally different from how I felt earlier. So yeah, let me get off this phone and get my butt out this parking lot and get home. See y'all later. I've arrived. I am going to. My daughter put too much lemon in this. I gotta figure out a way to stretch these two. She put too much lemon juice in it. Kids, they just do stuff, don't think about it. Just do it, do it. So I'm here. I'm getting ready to shower and um, eat my cutie. My hair, look at my hair. Don't mind my desk. Don't mind my desk. Judge me, don't judge yourself. You heard me judge me, don't judge yourself. 
Judge yourself, don't judge me. That's what I meant to say. But anywho, um, I'm getting ready to take these nasty clothes off in this sweatband. Did y'all see my sweat? Y'all see it? Yeah, and take this stuff off and get in the shower and relax. No heads today. No heads today. Medicators. Some coffee, so I'm getting ready to make me some coffee and eat this. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. My vitamin E oil. But yeah, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. So, yep. Get to my little Keurig machine. Closer to the plug. Oh, okay. One, two. This one box lasts me a while. Like, I got this, like, ooh, several months ago. About three months ago. I think two or three months ago. Oh, I gotta put the water in. That would be nice, huh? Well, that would be nice. Um, yeah. Trying to find some things that I can start doing in the area. I'm bored. I'm really bored. And, um, I definitely need to get out more and do more. And I, talk, I think I talked to y'all before about this, but, um, I'm bored. Um, I'm talking like just activity for me, for my stimulation, for my, for mommy time. How do you meet friends? You know what I mean? At this age when you kind of like, I want to meet friends. I know how to meet friends, but I'm really low key not trusting of other people. Meaning like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I just want somebody who, who's like me. You know what I mean? Or ride or die and just there for you not and it's not for anything or not for you know any benefit or anything just to have a friend to talk to or somebody, somebody can say hey girl let's go have breakfast let's go have lunch hey girl let's go catch a, a early morning movie or early you know I don't know just little things or hey girl let's take a little quick trip things like that it's like you don't see that stuff done I don't care to just be watching TV I don't care to be into this um what is this uh reality tv stuff i just don't i want to get out and do more that's what i really want to do and enjoy life um i just want my inside life to be so simple which is why i'm going to be decl decluttering and purging more but oh the principal did get back to me so we're going to meet on april 8th so hopefully um you know with her we can get this popping and it'll be a great thing and my my whole thing is wait may june july august September. if it turns out that I don't get rid of as much because it's not as big a turnout as the big, big, big one. Um, that the big, um, world's biggest uh, yard sale. Then I'll just catch them in September because we might be pushing it. Because world's biggest yard sale is in May. And I'm thinking that even if I talk to the, the um, principal the 8th of April, it's going to probably take a good 30 days to push it out there get it out there for people to know about it and that will bring us into the beginning of may which i ain't trying to do both of them back to back that might be a lot going on trying to get a u-haul packet to the school then pack it to the you know what i mean so i don't know i can figure it out i'm gonna figure it out but yes yeah, she did contact me and hopefully we'll meet april 8th and go from there with my idea of how this can raise money for the kids at the school and um also help people clear out some things get some things cleared out because i definitely want to clear some things out so yeah all right guys um yeah i'm gonna keep drinking my coffee i didn't even open the biscuit yet they still sitting here and these weren't bad will i buy them again i think if they don't have brown sugar i probably would my mom says she liked the brown sugar. I love those are my favorites. Those are the first ones that I really, really enjoy. But she said the cranberry orange was really good too. Did any of you ever try those? So yeah. I'm really not one to eat these, but I will. I think later tonight I'll do the magnesium citrate. We'll see. We'll see. 
All right, y'all. Let me find something good to watch. Um, I just want these first couple weeks to be about me. Me, me, me. Me, personally. Not nothing else. Um, you know, I'm still going to do my clients here and stuff, but not nothing else. Just to get my mind right and get in the swing of things. Because I'm doing it, but I'm kind of going at it the best way I can because I've been away from it so long. So it's kind of, ooh, okay, girl, we got this. Let's keep pushing. It's kind of where I'm at. Um, Energy-wise, I came home and fell asleep. I actually like going to the gym even earlier than 5. I got there at 4, so I really kind of like that because usually that's it. I got there like 4.15, but usually that's the time I wake up. Yeah, I noticed my alarm went off when I was at the gym, so... I don't know. We shall see. I'm going to get all the footage from this point on onto my computer so it can be ready. Uh, well, it really ain't no rush because I have the weekend off. So, got some great videos um, that you guys would have already seen by now um, for the weekend. Um, if you have any quests about this weight loss, because this is what it's about. Me life changing, changing my lifestyle and all that. If you have any questions or any requests of things that you want to see me do or you want, you have questions about put them below and you can also email me at cpr for the body at gmail.com okay so all right guys let me get off of this and um kind of just relax and get my brain together i shall i just opened this one okay i like to dunk these in my coffee it tastes like i just dunked this in a thing of sugar and put it in my mouth so sweet so sweet so disgusting i can't do it let me see Mm. Mm -mm. I ain't even for some reason this don't taste as good. I don't know if it's the one. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm not feeling this. I can't. I can't. I hate wasting stuff. Maybe my daughter eat the rest of them. They don't taste as good. Maybe because the coffee messed it up. I don't know. I'm disgusting. What with this? pink again I really like it so that's what I'm gonna do and this is my polish but I want to get a different kind called um out the door because it's almost gone yeah and this was expensive out the door is cheaper and I get way more so let me do these 42 and I need something in my stomach. I couldn't finish the coffee as y'all can see. I, I, I just crave coffee every now and then but I'm not, it's not that serious for me. And I only ate the one that I put in here. So yeah, I'm going to wrap that up. I probably won't be getting those anytime soon. Um, unless maybe I might try again with the brown sugar. I don't know. But then again, they was just too sweet altogether. And brown sugar might be sweeter. So this is my lunch. I got some celery, blackberries, a cutie, some slices of cheddar, and some slices of honey smoked turkey, which I like the mystique. So I'm going to be getting that next time. But my kids and my husband like that one. And I got a little bit of ranch. So that is my lunch. So let me go enjoy. I'm eating the cheese, right? And all I did was pull off a side of it and wrapped it in a slice. Stuff don't taste the same. And it's crazy. Like, what is going on? Like, I know the sweet thing, but, like, stuff really does not taste the same. And I thought I was about to mutilate this. this. Now, this is good with the ranch, but... That cheese, that meat, it don't taste the same. Something ain't right. I'm not sitting well with my taste buds. Maybe my taste buds is changing. I don't know. I need to find out what tastes good to them. But we know the ranch and the um, celery does. So, mm. I saw Desi Banks is going to be here at the comedy club in I was just finding, trying to look for stuff for date nights, and yes, he's going to be here Sunday. And I'm like, mm, should I work today or work tomorrow? But no, Sunday will be the date night. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to work that on uh, Sunday. 
Yeah, we're going to go that. That's what we're going to do. Go that. You hear me? I'm all excited. Desi Banks, if you don't know, check his Instagram out. He is so funny. He is so, 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 so funny on Instagram. A lot of his stuff be going viral. And he do a lot of, like, I don't know what kind of comedy you call that, but I definitely want to see him. And the lady said the ticket's only, like, 20-something or VIP where you meet and greet for 40-something. I don't know. We shall see. I'm excited because I'm always watching his videos. And I think that would be the awesome date night. So, yeah, let me get these tickets. Let me see. Let me get on here. Why is my computer? Oh, I think I got excited and cut it off. But yeah, y'all. Go to his Instagram. He is too funny. Look, this is him talking about Buffalo. Buffalo! Here we come, here we come. Buffalo, let's have some fun. <laughs> Buffalo, here we come, here we come. Buffalo. We did the VIP tickets. Hey, my the first man, you already know what's going on. Me and my dog. We coming your way this Sunday. Hell yeah. This Sunday. I cannot wait. Yeah. Because if it's cold. We're going to, hey, all the, you know, all the pretty ladies, I like to be warm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So I had leftover gravy, so I utilized that to make some shrimps and gravy. And I made beanies and weenies, which was a request. My hubby loves this stuff as well. So that is something quick because you know we don't have anything on the menu on Friday. So this is my dinner with the gravy because they ate all the meatballs out of it. So I had a little bit of rice, like literally a little bit on the corner. You see my spoon and it doesn't even go deep into the rice. Then I had a little teeny bowl of beanies and weenies and that was my dinner with some OJs. A quick um uh my quick confession for today i know i talked in the video but it was some stuff that i just had to say at that moment because it was just overwhelming to me at that time so here it is guys i wanted to share with you if you are watching a video go up to those three little dots up there and you can click those dots right so i click the dots and then this will show up it's going to ask you once that shows up it says playback speed if you click Pay playback speed it's going to allow you to change the speed of a video so if a video is a little bit longer and you want to make it go a little bit faster you can go two times the speed or you can put it in whatever you want so here's you'll hear let me show you it's going to be different so say you want to hear it still set look still let me, go in. Let me go into my confession so you can see what I'm talking about. Us and get our healthy back, take control of our lives, and that's all this is about. Um, yeah. So that's basically yeah, I'm trying to think what else y'all see what I had for dinner. It was so yummy. And I ate the rice, the gravy made the rice bread, but y'all see my fork on top of it. I tried to show y'all that plate was big and I had everything all the way pushed over to one side. So I did really good with that. So I'm trying not to do if you okay, well listen, I can see I can still get all uh, information like that. You don't have to go to two times. You can go a little bit slower than that, but that will allow you to um go through the video and not, you know, if you trying to rush or get through it or whatever. I just don't want to be wasting my time making these videos, which is why I have created ways of communicating with you through my videos to see who's really watching the videos. But that was one thing I want to talk about. I also talked already in the video about how I'm doing the cool downs just before I get off a unit or a equipment. So that way my legs and stuff are not overworked or overwhelmed because they were hurting really bad today on the um, treadmill because I went up. I amped it up today. So if you feel like your legs are getting tight and it's getting overwhelming, just lower it down. Not using notebook. Okay, so the notebook I had where I said I'm going to check off things in the morning, I'm not using that anymore. I just use my phone to keep me in order with what I need to go to the gym with. And then um, do not disturb or rest right it's good for you to put do not disturb on your phone so you can get the rest that you need i notice when i'm sleeping and getting good rest i feel more energized so make sure you do that as well 
and also set your TV alarms. I am starting to, I have been, I have been, I started recently and I have been taking my children's phones after a certain time. So Rizzy just come in and put on a charger in my room. So it's not waking them up, binging and doing all this crazy stuff so that they can get their sleep. Now on the weekends, I don't care. But as a mom, I need to protect them. Even though they may not like it, you want your kids to get their rest because it will affect them later if they're not getting a proper rest during the time that they're still going. So that was just it. Um, and if I didn't talk about that ginger ale, yeah, I think I did. But yeah, my taste buds were all whacked out. Like they're really trying to change up on me. And hopefully it gets better and um, I don't have to deal with these weird tastes. It's like I'm getting these weird aftertastes, these weird, like my lemon water don't even taste that good to me anymore. Um, I don't know if it's too strong or I think my daughter did overdid do the lemon though. So this weekend, I'm just going to chillax. Um, we have a date night, as you can see. You guys see where I'm going. I'm so excited. So we're doing that. We're going to have dinner there. I hear the food is really good. And then um, it's a birthday party. We have to go to uh, one of my friend's kid's birthday parties. Um, and what else? What else? What else? What else? I have one client tomorrow, so that's that's fine. Um, so yeah, you guys should see the code somewhere in here and you just know what to do inside your comment um, to let me know that you rocking with me and that I'm not wasting my time and that this is worth it to you to take the time to kind of en enjoy and also feel what I'm going through and see what I'm going through in this um this journey because it's not just about weight loss it's a lot more to it and things that change and happen I want to share those things with you because I'm pretty sure you might have these things happen and you may not know what's going on so that's why I share these things that I think that are like huh eh, you know what this is something I need to talk about and I always keep my little pad and so I'll take it off and then I'll have a fresh pad for the next day. So you guys will be seeing um, next week. I will be sharing a grocery haul, my healthy transition and how my grocery hauls look now versus then. And they should be getting better and better with the choices that I decide to make. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do that. I was thinking about implementing it into a sun, into the Monday's vlog, making a Monday vlog a little bit shorter, shortening my workouts to get the Monday um, vlog to include the actual um, the food haul but I don't know what do you guys think about that um, so yeah I will see you guys um, tomorrow for a Tuesday it will be Tuesday for you guys but it's going to be Monday that you actually um, that, you, that you're seeing this but Tuesday I will see you guys tomorrow and I love you guys I'm going to have a great weekend I know it's kind of crazy and it makes you but remember i'm always we only going monday through friday so friday is going to come over to monday for you guys so that's kind of how it works but it will definitely be your day five your day five so i will see you on day six enjoy and let's push and let's get this going let's get on to the next day see you in the morning bye